Hi everyone, welcome back to African Real Estate. Today we are in Kitengera, the home of the scorching sun. I just have 30 seconds to give you the specs of this house, otherwise I'll burn to death. Next to me is a three bedroom all end suit bungalow with a print area of 140 square meters. This home has been constructed on a 50 by 100 lot of land and as you can see you have a big front yard and you have an extra section behind the home for your backyard. All this will cost you 6.5 million. Is it not a good deal? If you have that money in the account, call our number in the first comment below and we will sort you out. The home comes with an ample car parking for all your cars and next to it, this is where your front garden will be. As you can see, this home comes surrounded with a perimeter wall and above it you have a gaze wire. I'll take you inside. From the entrance, it is the living room that gives you a welcome note. As you can see from there, the living room is beautiful, big in size, and ample and sufficient for your family. The awesomeness and the beauty of this living room has been magnified by the gypsum ceilings that have been very well crafted. As you can see from the gypsum ceilings, we have the center light, and this living room comes with two side lights. Let me show you. The living room also comes with some recess lights. This living room opens to the dining area and from there you can see that the dining area is a big space for your family. These days there is one thing that makes me very happy. The developers understand the usability of each home. This home opens from the living area to the dining area and the dining area opens to the kitchen. That makes it very open for you and easy to maneuver. The dining area comes with a wash basin and a mirror above it. I like it that the dining area comes with a sizable window for maximum natural light. From here, let's see the kitchen. This kitchen will be a very good space for our ladies because of these tile paintings. On my right hand side, you have this space that have been set aside to act as the breakfast table. And it separates the kitchen from the dining area. The kitchen comes with this space that has been set aside for your refrigerator. And as you can see from there, the kitchen comes with a massive storage which have been distributed within the upper and the lower cabinets. This kitchen comes with ceramic countertops and behind me you have the pantry of this home. The pantry is fairly small but it will be sufficient for your dry foods. This kitchen comes with a double sink and this door will take you to the kitchen garden. We will see that. The kitchen garden area has been flooded with gravel but this place can be usable for all your kitchen activities. Here you have your laundry area and as you can see you have two poles for your clotheslines area. The opposite side can be set up for your kitchen garden. I'll take you back inside. From the kitchen garden, here we are at the center of this home. And on my left hand side, you have the primary bedroom. On my right hand side, you have the two kids' bedrooms. Also, you have the common washroom. I'll show you the kids' bedrooms first. The first bedroom is the smallest and it comes with the smallest bathroom and the smallest closet. This bedroom can also be used as the employee quarters or the guest bedroom. The closet is of an average size and it will be usable and enough for your small kids. Let's see the washroom. This bathroom comes with all the necessary fixtures that you require. You can see that you have your WC there and you have your wash basin here. From here we will see the common washroom and later we will see the second bedroom. The second bedroom is on my far front and here you have the common washroom. The common washroom is of a standard size and it comes with all the necessary fixtures that you require and behind this door you have its wash basin. I'll show you the second bedroom. The second bedroom is slightly bigger than the first one and it comes with its mirror here 
add its closet here. This closet adopts the same concept to the one that we saw in the first bedroom. I like it that this bedroom faces the front side of this home so you'll get the best view to the front yard. It fascinates me to see the kind of security you receive from these homes. Sometimes too much security is not necessary. I'll show you the primary bedroom. From the two kids' bedrooms, this side has been entirely set aside for the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is the biggest and it comes with the biggest closet, a dresser and the biggest bathroom. As you can see, this closet has been made to act like his and hers. And here at the center, the spaces have been separated by a huge mirror. On the opposite side of this bedroom, you can see that the space comes with the two average windows. And as you can notice from there, the security details has also been maintained here. Let's see the bathroom. This bathroom is the biggest and it comes with its water closet here and this space has been set aside to act as your bathroom area. This bathroom also comes with a wash basin, a mirror and a shaving light. That's all for this bedroom. As I said earlier, this home is going only for 6.5 million. The only thing that is disappointing about this home is the dead tree. I hope it rains very soon and this home will be beautiful again. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, never stop watching. Bye bye. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that.